Go. Isn't that sad? I'm like, it's not that cold. My hair is looking really weird right now in this camera. It, why does things? Why do things look better in person? I mean, Different. I totally, I totally get now why people are like, this is really camera friendly makeup or camera friendly hair or clothes because, like, my hair looks. I think different in person right now than it is showing up right now. But anyways, enough about that. I feel like all I've been doing is talking about my hair. Blah. I have been going through this, like you guys know, my purging period of where I'm just getting rid of a lot of stuff. I went through yesterday, like I spent the entire day, Kai wasn't feeling well, so she kind of just lounged on our bed while I did this. But I went through my entire closet and drawers, like every single inch of a room. And I tried on every single piece of clothing that I own, minus the stuff that was dirty. Cause I figured if it was dirty, that means I'm still wearing it regularly and I should keep it. But I tried on every single thing that I owned. And what I realized in doing this was a few things. One that I don't even fit into half the stuff that I was like saving. Uh, two, was I doing A's or B, A, B, C's or one, two, threes? Two, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> two, I, like fell in love with some stuff that I didn't even remember I had that was like shoved in the back of my drawers. And three, that my haircut makes all of my clothes look completely different on me in a good way. Like, because for some reason now that I can see my neck and my shoulders, like everything just looks different. And it's kind of like having a new wardrobe. So it was kind of fun trying on everything. Um, cowl neck and higher neck things look way different on me. Like they look so much better. I don't know why, but again, cause like you'd think it would look the same as when I had my hair up in a ponytail, but it's not. So I was very excited about that. Like it was really good to just try on all of my clothes. I realized I've never done that. I mean, I've gone through and like looked at stuff, but I never actually put everything on. My body has changed a lot since having three kids, even since the egg donation and being on a bunch of hormones has changed since being, oh yeah, and then being on and off depot. Like all of, like my entire body's changed down to even like my shoulder size, my chest size, my stomach, my butt, my hips, like every inch of me is different than it was probably like a year and a half ago. And a lot of the clothes that I had, if you saw that picture, a lot of the clothes that I had, literally I'd had for over two years. Some of the stuff I've even had since high school and I was still hanging on to it. Like, so over a, like a decade even. I'm a little bit of a pack rat when it comes to clothes. I have issues letting go of stuff because I'm like, oh, but I really loved it that one time or it looked really good with that one thing or remember when I was skinnier and I looked so good in this and I'll be that size again, that kind of thing. But really what ends up happening is you, you and you, you buy stuff for the right now. You don't, you know, when you're out looking at stuff, you're like, oh, this would look really good on me right now. So then you never actually wear that stuff that you had those thoughts about. They kind of get pushed in the back of the closet. And for me, especially with the stuff that I'm like, oh, well, when I'm, if I'm skinny, if I lose this weight or if I do this, I'll look better and I'll wear this again. That's a lie because when you lose the weight, you want to celebrate the fact that you, you know, look better or whatever. No, I shouldn't say better. That's terrible to say, but you know what I mean? That you've met your goals. You want to celebrate and you're always like, oh, I'm going to treat myself to this again. So unless it's like jeans, I just got rid of it. And like I said, it's not just the weight that I'm carrying that's different. It's like my bone structure. Like I was talking to my mom because you guys know she's a nurse practitioner at OBJN and she sees a lot of women um, over the course of their lives. And I was asking her, I was like, is it weird that I weigh this, like I lost the weight and technically the inches and the fat, but like I'm still bigger. You widen, she, that's what she said. She says you widen in your chest area, in your hips, like after having some, you know, subsequent, sequential births, you get bigger, you know? And so I didn't really, take that into consideration age too. yeah in a matter of age like you just you just get bigger so a lot of the clothes that I was holding on to really just didn't like there even if I lost the weight there was no way like my hips were just like see ya even my like chest like nothing was fitting it was interesting I did get rid of a lot of stuff so I made three different piles one to donate one to give to my friend and then one to sell there's a 
store that's for like, I don't know, it's for older women, I guess more mature women. That, you know, is a resale shop. It buys and sells clothes. So that is what we're doing right now. I'm gonna go and drop it off and then I have a few other errands that I need to run. Um, Kaya's not feeling well, but she's, I shouldn't say that, she's sick. Like she slept with me and John last night. And when I say sleep, I mean she rolled around the bed and kicked us in the head. So I don't even know if anybody slept. She's feeling better. Though. She's feeling better, so but she's yeah, but she's still <laughs> sick. Like she's got this poor runny nose and stuff. But she's been cooped up in the house, so we're like, let's go out and take her out. So that is what we are doing. Um, I'm hoping I get at least like 20 bucks. I mean, I'm there's a lot of stuff in there, and one of the things that's in there that I'm selling, I'm really sad about because I always dreamt that I would wear it again. For our after kind of reception when we got married. My mom bought me this like cocktail dress. It's so pretty. Oh, it's like a she. It's like a champagne with a black like over light lace overlay, and I just I loved it. I felt so pretty in it, and I had this dream that eventually me and John would go somewhere really nice and I'd wear it again, and it just never happened. And I tried it on two few days ago or yesterday, sorry, and. I couldn't even get the clasps in the back to come even like seven inches together. Like it was so small on me. I'm very sad about it, but it's like that's a perfect example of something that I never put on in seven years and this whole entire time it probably didn't fit me, but it was just sitting in my closet. I also reorganized all of my drawers and my closet in the KonMari, I think is that what it's called, KonMari method. My mom had talked about KonMari. I didn't realize it was the same method that everybody else is freaking out about online. But basically it's that way of, the Japanese way of tidying things up, which is like, you know, only keeping stuff in your house that you love or gives you joy. So that's kind of what I did last night. If I didn't love something, if I didn't like something, if I, you know, cause if you don't love it, you're not gonna wear it. You're gonna wear that other thing that you love over and over again. So that's kind of what I did. And I, I feel really a lot better about it. Now I feel like I'm rambling. But people wanted to know about how I was organizing my closet yesterday and why I was getting rid of stuff. So that's why, if I didn't love it, if it didn't fit me, or if I hadn't worn it in a year, I, chucked it and it just was gone so I'm also gonna do this to the rest of my bedroom like makeup and stuff like that and then I'm also gonna do it to the kids bedroom and then also the toys and the rest of the house but that's gonna be another day we are at great clips getting Wyatt and John's haircut because they both needed their haircut very badly I is over here with their little sad stuffy nose vest weather it's the best weather ha, 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 ha. so we're waiting outside Walmart. John went in to go grab me a red onion. My hair is getting a little bit poofier as the day's gone on. I've noticed. I keep fussing with it. I'm like scrunching it because like I don't know. It's fun. It's so short now, but it's getting a lot of control, so I should probably stop touching it. But yeah. So we're waiting outside of Walmart because John went to go get a red onion so I can make dinner. I stopped by the resale store and I actually got back $117, which I think is pretty good for half the basket. The dress, my cocktail dress, they didn't accept it, which I think is weird because it's in. I'll show you when we get home. It's in. 100% perfect condition. I wore it once, which was on my wedding day, and that's it. I don't know, some people have told me that because it's such a small size, because it's like a size zero, I believe, um, it's not like a well, like a highly, you know, desired size or something like that. Granted, I was like really skinny back then, and my rib cage was like, Shh. but anyway, so, if any of you guys wanna buy it, let me know. I just, I was surprised that they didn't even like, offer me like five bucks for it. I don't know. Uh, I probably would have turned them down if they would have offered me that little though, to be completely honest with you, because it's just like so sentimental. I would just keep it just to give to one of my kids or something if that were the case. But yeah, I didn't think that was a bad, you know, I didn't think that was a bad offer for all those clothes. So we're gonna go home after this. I'm gonna make dinner and then try to work on our room some more because it's still a mess. Like I said, I'll show you guys the organization that I have done and the progress I've made. And then John and I are gonna go to puppy class because Nuna has not been to puppy class since before Christmas. My dad is at home, I didn't even mention this. My dad came home to visit for his birthday. So that's nice because my mom was missing him. She just saw him like two weeks ago for Christmas, but um, he flew into town, so he'll be here for the week. And it's been nice having him home, I missed him. And so did the kids. So we're gonna celebrate his birthday this week, but he's gonna stay at home with the kids until my mom gets home um, while we take the dog to puppy class for an hour. So yeah, that's gonna be our evening for today. And I have my mittens. You guys remember these mittens? I bought a pair for John and one for me. I, what was that, like three years ago, I wanna say? Two? No, was Kaya born yet? Or was I still pregnant? I think it was three years ago. They're made out of sweaters. We got them at our local uh, crafting thing. And I was shocked because John wanted a pair. They're so comfortable and they've really withstood the test of time. Like they're super warm. Especially when you're just wearing like, I'm basically wearing 
a like cowl neck sweater from Target, my uh, Eddie Bauer puffy vest, some like yoga pants, my boots, and then like yeah. So it's like 21 degrees out, but I'm so comfortable because of my gloves and my puffy jacket. So or my puffy vest, so yeah. Anyways, that's my outfit of the day. I'm bored, can you tell? I'm like, I'm gonna talk to you guys because my kids don't want to talk to me. And John's in Walmart. Walmart's an interesting place. I love people watching here. Not in like a judgmental way, but just like appreciating how different everybody is and like how like similar everybody is though, you know? Does that make sense? I really like that, like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, these people are looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to a camera. Yep, I'm pretty crazy. Crazy, hello. This is my hand puppet. They're ignoring me now. Probably best to ignore me. Okay, so this is the dress. Now again, it might just be me being sentimental and that's why I think it's so pretty and maybe it's really not that as pretty as I think, which is fine. But I just, I think it's a really pretty dress and I don't know. I wore it once, it's in such great condition. And it's got like, this is like really fitted up here. And it's just, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I wore it with black strappy heeled sandals or stilettos. And it just, I don't know, I just loved it. I always dreamed that I would wear it again, but that's not happening. It's a size, I think it's a size zero. Oh no, it's a size two, but I feel like it's a small size two, so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, I loved this dress. Oh, and it looks so good when you're tan. Oh, anyways, I'm just trying to get all of um, the laundry and stuff together and my room kind of sorted out and figured out because it's just such a disaster. I have to figure out what I'm taking or I need to drop off stuff to the donation place, but I'll show you the closet. I don't know if you remember how ridiculously messy my closet was before, like you couldn't fit anything in here. So I have all my shoes still there and these right here, these drawers, this is like all of my athletic wear, long sleeved shirts, like my, you know, like what I like to wear when I work out or just, you know, everyday kind of, I don't know, athletic wear tops. These are my long sleeve t-shirts. Um, I don't have a ton of them in there, so that makes it nice so that way I can see all of them. But my biggest thing is if I do not see something in front of me, I will never wear it. So the whole folding stuff and layering on top of each other and drawer thing does not work for me. So for the longest time, all of my t-shirts and tank tops were always folded up and I never saw them, so I never wore them. So now everything's hanging except for my long sleeve t-shirts and my athletic wear shirts. But yeah, so I have all of my tank tops hung. Um, I have like my ba basic ones that I wear underneath stuff. I have my dressier ones and then spaghetti strap tank top organization. Then I have all my t-shirts, you know, my nicer t-shirts and then my sportier t-shirts and then all my cardigans and then all my button up shirts are down here. They're all kind of color coordinated and again in order about like dressy to casual and vice versa. One of the ways that I realized that I could save space too was like a lot of my tank tops and camis, I have a lot of them in the same color because I like to layer them so like I have like four gray tank tops and instead of having four different hangers I just hung them all together because then I know like okay there's they're all right there same with like my white uh, spaghetti straps I just hung them both on the same hanger so that saves space I have my dresses I have my skirts all right here so that is what's in this closet and then John and I kind of switched around some of his clothes if you guys remember how messy his closet was it was ridiculous now all of my jackets my vests and my zip up sweatshirts are hanging right here all of his hanging stuff is there his pants all of his sweatshirts and polos are up there then he can just pick it out he's also got his drawers down here and then I gave him this top drawer which he's keeping pants and I reorganized all of my drawers so this is kind of like the Kanmari or Kanmari whatever type of method which is being like having all of your clothes standing so that you can see them so this is my athletic wear drawer I have all of my athletic wear tank tops right here I can see every single one of them the way I folded them they're all standing I have my bike shirts or my cycling shirts back there my yoga wear is in here and then these are all of my capri yoga pants and then these are all of my long pant leggings slash uh, yoga pants are right here then I have all my shorts right here I can see every single one of them and my bike shorts are all back there and then down here now I have all my sweatpants which if you know me this is huge that I am now down to five pairs in here and I think I have four that are dirty I used to have like 20 pairs of sweatpants because I love my sweatpants but um so my sweatpants are right here 
And then in this top drawer were all my sweaters, which again, if you know me, like my sweaters and sweatshirts, this is huge that there's even room like left. But um, like I said, though, I have a lot of laundry I need to do. But now all my sweatshirts are all standing too, so I can see every single one of the sweatshirts that I own, and then I can actually wear them. And then the bottom two drawers are still jeans, which jeans are jeans to me, so I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'll change the way I fold those two, but for the other stuff, it's definitely helpful. So yeah, I really like implementing this like method of being able to see everything, and because we don't have, like my dream for our next house would be to have, John and I have talked about this, we're always like, our next house we want this, we want that, blah, blah, blah. One of the things we really want is a big master walk-in closet. Not because we want the space to keep all of our clothes, but more because my dream is to have like a whole master room closet where I can hang every single top that I own on the top and bottom shelf. And that's what I would like essentially, is to not ever have to use drawers, but be able to hang everything on the wall so I can see everything. Cause drawers, I think unless it's underwear or bras or bathing suits or things like that, are it's really hard to see what you own. And I feel like when that happens, you forget stuff that you have and you don't use stuff that you have. So I'm hoping with this new way that I'm doing stuff I already, I mean, I was when I got dressed today, I'm like, oh, I know exactly what I want to wear today. And this sweatshirt's been hiding in my drawer for like two months now. I got it from Target and I never wore it because I forgot that I had it. So I'm, yeah, so the, so far this is really nice. But again, that's our dream is to kind of have everything hanging because John feels the same way. When he doesn't see something, he doesn't wear it. Now all I have to do is just clean up the rest of our room, keep sorting through stuff and organizing stuff and get rid of all of the clothes that I didn't sell and that I'm not giving to my friend. So we'll drop that off at the Salvation Army. <laughs> She's so excited to be out of the house. We haven't been taking her anywhere because there we really, other than puppy class, like there's nowhere where we feel like we can take her. I'm gonna try to, I think, sign her up for that dog park though and get a membership going because I mean, even if there is snow on the ground, she'll probably love running around in the snow. Like, I don't know. I'm just being ridiculous. I need to do that. I also need to register before January 30th. But she did really well at puppy class. Like, really, really well. Didn't ya? Uh-huh. She's so excited, though. That's the problem. Is she gets so excited. What? Aww. That's how, you remember, guys, remember when we brought her home? That's what she did to John. <laughs> she remembers. She just gets so excited that she just jumps and pulls and you know it's only because she's just she really wants to meet people look at her she is so cute her body is like her feet are down there on the floor and then she's like laying on the console just so she can put her head on her daddy's arm <laughs> you're so cute look how big you've gotten look how big you've gotten anyway so yeah so i think i'm gonna sign her up for something um our puppy trainer actually suggested taking her to some stores to desensitize her and so she can meet more people and more dogs and kind of be out so maybe we need to make a point of going out like on the weekend and taking her places I don't I guess I never really thought about that but yes so that was our night that was our day um, I'm gonna let you guys go because we need to get home and put the kids to bed and yeah I will talk to you guys all in our next vlog say bye bye